it's looking like we uh, switched the M340i for an X3 M40i. Welcome back to another episode of Project M340i. Currently, we've parked the car on the alignment bay because that is the only truly flat spot in the whole garage. I mean, even if you park it on this normal surface over here, there is some sort of a slight undulation here and there. But this is completely zero zero, and that gives us an opportunity to measure the wheel gap uh, and check the height of the car. And that is because today in this episode, we're going to be installing a very special set of suspension components on the M340i. Today we're installing this. This is KW's V3 leveling setup and it's a little bit different than a normal V3 uh, suspension setup that you can buy from KW. So the V3 is the top of the line track spec suspension that you can buy from uh, KW for street cars. But the leveling is a little bit different. So the strut itself is the same uh, of the V3 setup but uh, the springs are for street spec uh, driving basically. So. It's a little bit more comfortable and of course these are adjustable so you can adjust the rebound, compression and all of that and make it uh, stiffer or less stiffer according to what sort of setup you want to run. So today we're going to be reviewing the stock suspension and installing these beautiful looking V3 levelings on the car. So we've managed to remove the old strut out of the 340i. The boys are just installing the new KW uh, suspension in the rear. And this is the rear strut of a 340i. Now globally there has been a lot of noise about uh, how the 340i struts aren't that good in terms of their life. They, you know, get bad very, very soon. So of course with the brand new KW strut, so just for comparison, this is the brand new KW strut so it says that it will give us more life of course we have the adjustability option as well uh, and the strut is superior in terms of its life compared to the stock strut as well and as you can see over here down below you have the adjustability knob over here and uh, on top of the spring you have to fit this mount and now this mount also helps in adjusting the suspension to what sort of setting you wanted to so that's what we've put in the rear once the once the rear is done uh, we'll start working on the front and after that let's go out for a little test drive to see if there's any change in the way the 340i drives so this is the front strut from kw and uh, let me just tell you how to adjust the height if you were ever going to buy this suspension. So, as you can see, there's an opening for this Allen key over here. And uh, once you loosen it, you can rotate this ring upwards or downwards. So, currently we've kept it at its tallest setting. And once it's on the car, we will adjust it accordingly to whatever height setting that we want. So, we just, uh, we've just removed the front strut and the spring and we will install this brand new KW strut now. So 
So all four KW struts and springs are now fitted onto the car. Uh, unfortunately, this thing, I mean, these struts and springs look fabulous, but you can't see them once you put the wheels on. Um, so now we're going to put the wheels back on. And after that, let's see what the stance of the car is looking like. Mind you, like I said, uh, it's currently on the tallest setting. And then if required, we'll adjust the height and adjust the other metrics also. So let's put the, uh, put the wheels on and let's see how it looks. As you can see, a lot of important discussions happening over there in the background because, well, it's looking like we uh, switched the M340i for an X3 M40i because of the, I mean, it looks like a rally car at the moment with the uh, gap that it has. But of course, being an adjustable suspension setup, we're going to put it back onto the lift, reduce the height and let's see if we can improve the stance. And then, you know, maybe in future episodes, we'll fiddle around with the uh, compression and rebound to see what sort of a driving balance that we want. So the KW V3 fitment is done and I mean on camera you barely can see any difference because the car is only 10 mm lower than the stock ride height. Uh, when it comes to the setting that we put it on. Just an M3. <laughs> bolo, bolo. When it comes to the setting that we've put it on, it's on like a medium setting. So if you crank up all of the uh, metrics to change the suspensions uh, settings, it can get 30% more stiffer than the stock suspension and if you dial it all down, it can get 30% less stiffer or more comfortable than the stock uh, M340i struts. So yeah, there is a lot of room for adjustments and we are still experimenting on the setup as to how we want to run the car but right now I feel the car is uh, driving really nicely. I haven't personally driven it that much, I've just sat in it. Uh, I'll be driving it soon. Uh, but I think so the next episode is probably we're going to remove the ECU, send it to Finland, start doing some tuning stuff to the car. So till then, thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below how you think the M340i build is coming together and I'll catch you in the next one.